In recent videos, I've been working through problems from the Mathematics of Investment and Credit by Samuel Broverman at the beginning of Chapter 2, focused on problems labeled with the letter S that refer to old exam problems. But I think you can never quite get enough practice with annuity problems, so now I've, I've done all the S problems in that first section. I want to go back and do some of the earlier problems that are not labeled with an S. Some of those problems, you know, very well could be on the actuarial exam. Uh, this is, a, in particular, a pretty good problem. It, it involves a few different things that you got to put together. Solving it definitely can improve your problem-solving capabilities. We want to find the effective annual interest rate, I, for an account related to two options that produce the same accumulated value. Here's the problem statement. It is kind of long. There is a lot going on. First of all, realize that you, as the investor, have 50000 to invest. Okay, that's important to realize. You've got this bunch of this money, you're going to invest it in two possible ways. Option one is you can just do something fairly simple deposit the 50000 into a fund earning an annual effective rate of I, which is going to be the thing we ultimately solve for. And then option two, this is more complicated, we're going to purchase with that 50000 purchase an annuity immediate where you're, you're going to get money. 24 level annual payments at an annual effective rate of 10%. And then when you get that money, the payments under option two, you're gonna reinvest that money, you're gonna deposit it into another fund, earning an effect, annual effective rate of 5%. Both options, the simple one, option one, and the more complicated one, option two, produce the same future value or accumulated value at the end of 24 years. Calculate I. All right, that's a lot. Um, take it step by step here. Let's first think about option one. That's the simpler thing to think about. Option one, what is the future value? That's fairly simple. 50,000 is the deposit. Uh, the, it's earning a annual effective interest rate I for 24 years. Symbolically, this is the future value for option one. We don't know I yet. We want to solve for I. Option two, what is the future value of option two? The same accumulated value of option one. We're going to set these things ultimately equal to each other. Well, you're going to get these payments, these 24 annual payments, call the amount of that X. X would be unknown at the moment. And you're going to deposit that into a fund earning an effective annual rate of 5%. Evidently, at the end of every year for 24 years, that, and we want to find the future value of that annuity immediate. So, its future value, since the payments are x, symbolically can be represented as x times s24, and let's emphasize the interest rate because there's a couple, three different interest rates going on here. Uh, the interest rate for that fund that we deposit that into is 5%, put, put a 0 0.05 there. These things are going to equal to each other. This is set equal to each other and solve for i, but if we're going to solve for i, we need to know what this is. This can be calculated with a formula. We're going to have to find x in some way. Before we try to figure out x, let's go ahead and simplify this. That's a future value for an annuity immediate with 5% interest rate. The formula for that would be 1.05 to the 24th minus 1 divided by 0 0.05. Let's go ahead and find that quantity. 1.05 to the 24th minus 1 divided by 0 0.05. 1.05 to the 24th power is this. Subtract 1. Divide by 0 0.05, 44.5 times x is the future value that we ultimately set equal to this, 44.5019987x. Just being extra careful to carry as many digits of accuracy as I can so my errors don't pile up on me. All right, what have we not used yet? How are we going to find x? We have not used the fact that we purchased the annuity immediate, immediate with these 24 payments of X at an effective interest rate of 10 with our 50,000. We use that 50,000 to purchase this annuity immediate. So, 
To help us solve for x, we need to realize that means the 50,000 that we invested at time zero is the present value of this annuity with payments of x. 50,000 equals x times a 24 with an interest rate of 10%, put a 0.1 there. We can figure out what the a is here. We can solve for x, plug it back in here, set it equal to that, and solve for i. So this is a, a good problem to practice. It's, you know, it's a, it'll test your problem solving skills to combine all these things. The formula for the uh, present value of the annuity immediate would be one minus b to the 24th over i. V is gonna be one over one plus i, one over 1.1 in this case. The reciprocal of 1.1 is 0 0.90 repeating. That is what V is. We raise that to the 24th power. Get this, subtract that from 1. Get that, divide by 0.1. Here we go. We get 8.98474402 for that quantity, that present value times x, that must equal 50,000. So now solve for x. We can take the reciprocal of this thing and multiply it by 50,000. x must be this quantity here. x is 5564.988818. Carrying more decimals than I really need to, but okay, I'm gonna be careful here. That's X, that's the payments. We get 24 of those things for um, the next 24 years. That helps me now find the future value that both of these things are equal to. I need to now multiply this times 44.501, 44. 0.5019887, Set that equal now to this and solve for i. So we have 50,000 times 1 plus i to the 24th equals, what's on the calculator here, 247653.12647. Point one two six one. Let's just use the calculator from this point on. I want to divide that by fifty thousand. Divide by fifty thousand. One plus i to the twenty fourth is about this number. Uh, I want to raise that to the one twenty fourth power. Let me just first store this quantity and register zero. The one twenty fourth power. What is one divided by twenty four? It's this. Let's store that and register one. And also write these things down. So I want to take what's in register zero, recall zero, and raise it to the power of what's in register one, recall one. There is one plus i, now subtract one. i is about 0 0.0689, 6.89%. 6 that is the answer to the question. That is the interest rate for the option one account, okay? Very good problem, combining a lot of different skills. Um, I'd encourage you to practice this again, maybe, you know, in a week or something to see if you can do it.